Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be testing out some new Dollar Tree makeup. My last video I did a haul and you got to see a lot of this new makeup and then I've got some other things that I've been hanging on to that are new. I've got quite a few products today so I'm super excited. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I am basically a bargain makeup channel. What I mean by that is I like to do all the same fun content that other makeup channels do, except I like to do like a hyper focus on the bargain price point. So we do a lot of Dollar Tree here. I'll also buy makeup from, you know, Sheen. Um, I have a Shop Miss A order on the way, so that'll be up soon. Um, and also Family Dollar, Dollar General, basically makeup that is like $5 and under. Um, my favorite is, of course, Dollar Tree. And I like to take the bargain makeup and do all the same fun videos, so, because, you know, things have gotten outrageously expensive, even at the drugstore anymore. So, so if you've been looking for a channel like mine, you're definitely in the right place. I do hope you'll become part of our Dollar Diva family here on YouTube. And of course, you know, if you share my channel with your friends and other people that you know, and other people here on YouTube um, that may be looking for the same thing. It always really, really helps me out, and um, and I do feel it helps other people out, especially with everything being as crazy as it is anymore. So if anything that you can do like that, I definitely appreciate it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've got like 11 new products. It's like almost a full face. So, so without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so I did my eyebrows off camera. I will have products you don't see listed down below in the description box. There's really not many, um, pretty much, you're gonna see most of the products because most of them are new, but um, yeah, I did do my eyebrows already. So my Dollar Tree haul, I hauled three of the new Beauty Intuition palettes and I decided to go with the Dreamy Mauves today. I just thought this would be a really pretty palette to dip into. And so yeah, I have not pre-thought this look out, so I'm gonna be making it up as we go along. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into this pink shade right here and just put that all over my lid to lay down as a base. These palettes have really done pretty well for me. I, I've used the, the um, I've got the pastels, moody neutrals, the pinks, and then I get the peaches. And um, I've done a look with all four of those palettes. The only one that I, that's really going on, very nice. The only one I really feel gave me a little bit of trouble was the pastels. But um, I've explained to um, some of my Dollar Divas that, um, you know, my, my skin tone doesn't really lend itself to pastels. And I tried using it, like, on its own. It was just hard to get, like, a look that I felt comfortable with. It's more of, I feel like a companion palette for me. Has some beautiful shimmer shades and, um, but I just needed, I just, I should have used it as a companion palette. See, that's just, it just went on really, really nice. Like I said, these palettes really have done very well for me. So I'm super excited. I'm going to try to go into as many shades as I can. I'm going to deepen it up a little bit with this shade right here. Just start kind of building it up a little bit. I'm not really sure which shimmer I'm going to use. That really, um, that lighter, like, copper shade was beautiful. I swatched it in my haul, and it was so pretty. That's really doing a very nice job. These are not patchy. They're really blending in, like, really, really nice and easy and pigmented. Really, hardly any fallout. And I'm very heavy-handed, too, so. There we go. Let's clean up a little bit. Like I said, really not bad fallout at all. So I'm going to go into this shade right here and deepen it up even a little bit more on the outer part, just taking a little bit more of a compact brush. I'm going to really concentrate this on the outside. I don't know if this will do much, but we're going to try, like I said, I try to use as many shades as I can. This one's got a little bit more fallout, and I think it's really because of my, the brush that I'm using. I'm going to get a, go into that first brush and just really kind of blend it. Okay, so now it's time to go into a shimmer. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the darker shimmer first and then go into that one right there. So I've been getting my nails done since like the beginning of June. It's been like three and a half months. And I finally broke one off. Um, I'm gonna go on Monday and get them done, uh, redone, but um, along with my feet. But um, yeah, they're just not really as fragile as I anticipated. I, my biggest fear was always to like get them done and then have to constantly be going back to them like, Re, you know, have one that broke off, redone, and everything. But I haven't, haven't had to do that. This is the first one that I that I broke, and um, and I'm you know not easy on my hands either. So I'm gonna take a flat, compact brush, and like I said, I'm gonna go into that darker shimmer, and then I'm gonna go like highlight it with the lighter one. Wet my brush. I'm gonna put that like on the middle 
heart my eye really nice. I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to go right there into that one that we swatched in that haul video. This was like, it looked like a penny. It was so beautiful and copper and metallic. If it reads just half as nice on the eye, we'll be in good shape. Stunning. And again, I'm going to just blend a bit the edges. Super, super pretty. So you know how we do here. I'm going to come back and finish up like the color and the eyeshadow and all that stuff. But we're going to move on to lashes and liner face and then come back and add some little finishing touches to the eyes, including something up on like the brow bone and all that good stuff. So again, I always end up doing this and I shouldn't, but um, I am always trying to find a good mascara at Dollar Tree. Most of the time, never succeed. Um, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know that my favorite from Dollar Tree, it's not like superb, but out of everything at the Dollar Tree is for me the Be Pure Hydrating. Um, and I already used the one of these that came in the silver. This is the one that now is in like the rose gold from Beauty Intuition. I've got two of their other mascaras. Um, nothing super crazy. I don't know if this one will be better than the other one, but eh, you know, I'm always trying. Really, it. My biggest consensus here is that if you want a really good, affordable mascara, Essence, the one that comes with the green writing, is your best bet. It's it's like five bucks, and it's really good. So this is the brush, and I am going to be putting on lashes. I've got some Ioni um, like half lashes that I'm going to be trying today, um, but I do like to have a little bit of mascara on under my lashes. I like the brush. I think in my last testing new Dollar Tree makeup, I, I used one from La Mercery. They had come out with a new mascara, and uh, I'll have that video linked down below. That part of the video was a disaster. This doesn't seem to actually be all that bad. So I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to apply a second coat. That way I can kind of like see what this can do. So I came back, and um, really this mascara is not the worst. It's one of the better ones from Dollar Tree. Would I still suggest like... If, you, if your lashes need a lot of extra help, maybe buy an Essence instead at the drugstore. Yeah, but it's really not the worst. It, ha it has done something, and my lashes are tired, you know. Um, it's not, like, super dried out. I like the packaging. I like the brush. So not the worst. Like I said, I still would probably just spend five bucks and get Essence, but not a disaster, unlike last time. So for lashes, I got some from the new Ioni collection. These are in the style Bougie. And these are what they call the halfling lashes. So I have never actually purchased and used a half lash before. So I'm assuming I probably will not have to trim these. Um, they will go on like the outer part of my eye. And so yeah, I'm super, super excited. So I do, if you're new to my channel, I do have a, a lash tutorial that I did where you use, where I show you two different methods of putting on lashes. I will have that link down below. Um, I'm gonna put these on off camera and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and um, I did use the Ioni Lash Glue and Liner, so I did my liquid liner, put the lashes on, and they went on very, very easy. I really, really like them. They fit my eye really, really well. Yeah, really, really like them. I think they're really, really pretty. So we're gonna come back to the eyes, so we're gonna add some finishing touches, of course, but now we're gonna move on to the face. So I've never used a product like this. This is the City Color Collection brand. I got their Primer Oil. This is a non-greasy, it smooth and, smooths and softens, and it says it's vitamin enriched. So Primer Oil, I'm assuming you put it on under your foundation because it does say primer. And I do know, I, I, like, I've only ever used, like, cream, so I'm going to put this on while I'm talking. I've only ever used, like, you know, cream and putty um, kind of, you know, primers. I actually, I have one on a stick. Um, it's actually, I, it was an impulse buy at the drugstore. It's um, Makeup Revolution. It, it's like a, like, comes in like a roll-up stick. And I didn't think I'd really like it, but I actually really like it. But I've never used, like, a liquid or an oil primer. I think Wet n Wild makes one that's like a liquid of sorts. I don't know a whole lot about primers, to be honest. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to let it kind of sink in. It feels really nice. There is no real smell. So I'm going to let this soak in for a minute, and then I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm just going to be using the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Foundation, something I've used on my channel before. And when I come back, we're going to go ahead and I've used this once before on my channel, but we'll use it again, the Le Mercerie Concealer. So I'm going to apply my foundation. I will be right back. 
Okay, so my foundation is on and it looks very dewy and luminous. Um, I do I do have the Ioni um, mattifying powder, which we'll use as well because I've only used it a time or two on my channel. So um, so we're going to be going in with the Mercery Concealer. They have like at least seven or so shades. I don't know what shade this is, but it's just this, it's kind of on the lighter tones. They've got a lot of darker ones as well, which is really encouraging. Of course, La Mercerie has been rolling out some new makeup. My last testing new Dollar Tree makeup, I had a new, actually I have a new bronze, I'm using the other shade of bronzer today, the lighter one. I used a darker one in my last new makeup video and um, they had like a face powder and um, I'm very excited to see what they keep coming out with. Maybe they'll give us, with just as they did with the concealers, maybe they'll give us foundations that are, have a better shade range as well. This concealer, I really like it. Of course, I love that there's more than two or three shades. That's a big wind. But it really, it, I remember it really covering up very nice, doing a really good job. It doesn't just slide around on the skin. Of course, Be Pure makes some really nice concealers as well. As well as LA Colors, I love their Conceal and Correct um, line. So there we go. We got some concealer on. And now I'm going to set everything down with the Ioni Mattifying Powder. And, it's so, and I'm so excited because I've got the two other products. Um, I've got a highlighter and a blush from in the same type of packaging, so super, super fun. So I bought a bunch of these little puffs and pads from um, from Marshalls. I've been using them in work, and I had to kind of remember to bring them home. So I'm going to really, I'm going to press it under my eyes, and then I'm just going to use a brush to put it everywhere else. This is a really, really nice mattifying powder. I also like to press it in between my eyebrows right up here. So I'm just going to take a brush and um, go in. Okay, so powder is on. So now I'm going to go into the La Mercerie Bronzer. Like I said, I had a darker shade that I used in my last makeup video. And this is a lighter shade. And I think this is going to work really, really well for me. I went a little overboard with the darker color, as I do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with a light hand. I'm going to try to not go crazy. If you've been on my channel, you know that I tend to. This shade here is really nice. I'm not as tan as I've been because I haven't really been out in the pool or anything. It's starting to cool down a little bit. and This has a little bit of shine in it. This one here might be even a little bit more shimmery than the other one. Which, oh, it, the older I get, the more I don't mind a little bit of shimmer in my blush, my bronzers. A little bit of glow does not hurt my feelings anymore. I really, really like that. It, nothing too crazy. I think the shade's really, really nice. It was a little easier for me to not kind of go overboard, which is really nice. So far, really, really, really like it. So now I've got the blush. I heard that there was another shade like this. This is like a matte, like bright pink. I think there's like another shade that's like, um, got maybe a little bit more gold in it. A little bit more of like a coral pink with some gold. So I'm just going to pop some of this on. I'm going to use a brush and, um, Look at how pigmented. I barely, barely touched that. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful. But you know, when I was swatching this and the highlighter, they seem to be very finely milled. They're just like a, like creamy powder. Just very, like not like big chunks and all that stuff. Just very finely milled. And that's what I used to always love. You know, years ago I used to treat myself to like NARS blush because um, I loved it for that reason. Um, and now you don't you don't need to pay that money for that type of a quality, you guys. Like seriously, really, really, really nice. I'm gonna just use a little bit of my powder, my my powder brush, just to kind of diffuse it a little bit. Really, really nice. A little bit went such such a long way. I probably went a little bit overboard on this side, not as much on that side. Beautiful. Ioni blushes never disappoint. So now I'm going to go into the highlighter, and this looks just so, 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 so pretty. This is in the shade Glow. The blush is in Poppy Pink. So I'm going to try to go with a light hand here. I might even use this as an inner corner highlight as well. A little of this is going a long way. Really, really nice. Just a nice universal color. Super, super pretty. So I do have a new lip liner and lip gloss, but we're gonna, of course, come back to the eyes now and we're gonna add a couple other little details. There's a beautiful shimmer. So that shimmer right there, that's really, really pretty. It's that shade right here. Kind of wondering if I should put that on my brow bone or not. 
Actually, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the highlighter onto my brow bone. I'm gonna try to just go very easy on this because you know me. <laughs> I'm gonna take like a little bit of like an angled brush. Just get some of the product. It's good, I'm not going overboard. Super pretty. That is all we need there. And like I said, I'm going to go into the corner of my eye, and I think I'm going to go with that, that metallic shade right there for the inner part of my eye. So I'm going to wet like a really thin little brush. Oh yes, that is delivering. Super pretty. Subtle, but not too subtle, you know what I mean? Seriously, like these these eyeshadow palettes like have been really really great. I've loved the neutral one. I've loved the pink one. I've loved the peach one The quality is very good the mattes and the shimmers You get good variation within the palette. You get eight shades, you know, that's a substantial thing for a dollar twenty five, you know Super pretty super happy with how that came out now. I do have a liner and I'm gonna put it in my waterline I picked this up. I think this is from the LA colors um I can't remember if it's from, yeah, it's from the Halloween collection. This is this is an auto liner. It's in the shade Unbridled. I've been loving purple lashes. I've been loving purple mascara. Of course, I love blue. Um, I'm going to put this in my waterline just to give a little bit of a subtle pop. I thought purple would kind of be like a nice little subtle pop in the waterline. Again, these usually generally aren't super great in the waterline. You know, not as good as like an Ioni, of course, which is like seriously like the best eyeliner ever. There we go, just a nice little, nice little something special, you know? So now, last but not least, we got the lips. I did buy two lip liners from the um, LA Colors Lash and Eye Bar makeup line. I also have a plumping gloss that I bought, and I got um, two liquid eyeshadows from that line that I'm not using in today's videos. They'll be used in another video, but, um, so like I said, I got two of their lip liners that seem to be maybe dark enough. And then I've got a La Mercerie lip gloss, um, which, again, when I did my last new testing new Dollar Tree makeup, I had a bunch of Ioni products, but I didn't have any lip products in that video because I did not see them at that time. So this is the LA Colors Auto Lip Liner. This is in Forever Berry. Like I said, this is from their new display of um, lip and eye products. And so, fingers crossed, this is dark enough to my satisfaction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I've always said this with LA Colors lip liners. They don't come out with them very often. Usually they're in, like, collections. For me, it's not a matter of quality. It's just a matter of, like, color. Like, a lot of times I just feel like they don't, they're not dark enough for my taste. Okay, that is delivering. And I don't know what shade this is in. They're only kind of, like, numbered, but they have, like, a reddish one. They've got a couple or a few different colors. This swatched really beautiful in my haul. I'm really excited. Really, really pretty. Honestly, I really didn't need the, um, the lip liner. Of course, it'd be really beautiful on its own. In some ways, I think it might actually look better if I just put it on by itself. Or with something that matches a little bit better to it. Either way, I do like it. So now we're going to do a quick rundown of all the products and not a fail in the bunch. I would say the standout products are all these things right here. The Dreamy Mauves is a wonderful palette. As you can see, look at the quality of that. I mean, pigmented, you guys saw how buttery and how wonderfully they went on. Really nice colors. Every shade is different in this palette. Really can't beat this for $1.25. I really, really love these Beauty Intuition palettes. Then, of course, the lip gloss, which is just wonderful. They've got quite a few shades. Really, really, really beautiful. Not sticky, no taste, no smell. The bronzer, I love this lighter shade. I have the darker shade as well. Really like this lighter shade. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but nothing too crazy. Of course, Ioni always delivers with their products, and they just keep getting better. Their little blush and their highlighter are just to die for, and the packaging is just so cute. Then the primer oil, I'm not going to get to do a wear test today because I am off and I'm not going to be wearing my makeup all day, but I will do a wear test um, when I go back to work next week and I'll put it on under my makeup and then do my job, but really I'm not seeing any separating. Um, my skin does not look greasy or oily. It feels very moisturized, honestly, so that is something 
Um, like I said, I don't know if it'll make my makeup last longer, but it certainly looks really beautiful. Um, so, so far, so good with that. Finally found an LA Colors lip liner that is in a dark enough shade for me. I don't think I really needed it for today's look. And I have, a, like I said, another shade to try. That one might have actually been better with this gloss. But all in all, at least I found one that is dark enough for my liking. Very creamy. Really, really like it. Like I said, it's always been a color issue, not a quality issue. And then these things here, you know, you can take them or leave them. You know, the mascara is not terrible, not great. I still would just suggest buying, like, spending five dollars at CVS and buying Essence. And then of course the LA Colors Auto Liner, you know, you know what you're gonna get, you know, but it's fun to have like a little pop of color in my waterline. Like I said, these are, you know, they are what they are. They're not great, they're not terrible. So that is the worst it gets. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show me you did by hitting the like button. Definitely go down and binge watch some of my related content down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.